What is up guys, Xenotech here for another video. Today we're not going to be doing an unboxing or anything like that. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to put Kodi on your Fire Stick using an Android device. So let's get started. So first things first, you're going to need a Fire Stick, your Android phone, a TV, and a Wi-Fi connection. And you should be all good. This video is for informational purposes only. I do not endorse any tool, software, or app. You're acting at your own risk and curiosity if you apply the tutorials and procedures I show in this video. Please exercise caution and always use your best judgment before proceeding. Use of any information shown in this video is at your own risk. You're 100% responsible for what you do with your device, and Xenotech is not responsible if you void your warranty or damage your device. So did you guys get that? Let's get started. So first things first, what you're going to have to do on your Android device you're going to need to download Kodi and AppSafire um, on your Android phone. So what you're going to do, you make sure when you download Kodi on their website, make sure you download the ARM version of the uh, Kodi app. Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right, so let's get this started, guys. Just so you know, I have deleted Kodi from my Fire TV just for the purpose of this video. Um, so you can see I'm scrolling down and you won't be able to see Kodi anymore because I have deleted it and now I'm gonna have to reinstall it using apps to fire um, using your Android phone so let's go ahead and start so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to system and you're gonna have to go to developer options and you're gonna have to turn on ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources just hit OK so once both of them are on Go on ahead and go to about and you're gonna have to go scroll down which says network so now you're gonna see all of your information regarding your network so you can see your IP address and everything now pull out your phone your Android phone and open up apps to fire make sure that you guys are both on the same network um, your Android phone and your fire TV that's the way that they're gonna have to communicate with each other so you're gonna have to scroll to the very right and you're gonna have to input the IP address of your Fire TV from your t from your Android device. So let me go ahead and fast forward this video real quick. Now that you have put the IP address, it should say connected on your Android device. So go ahead and scroll to the very left corner and scroll down until you see the Kodi app that you just installed on your Android phone. And hit install and it might take a while for this to install but it should work um, let me just fast forward this video real quick all right now it says installation successful just go ahead and hit ok and as you can see on your fire tv it should say Kodi ready to launch so that means you have successfully installed Kodi on your fire tv now you have Kodi so what are we going to do next so go on ahead and open Kodi so while it's opening up, this is just the app itself, so it doesn't have any content yet. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to have to add content so we can start using Kodi on your Fire TV. So what you're going to do, you're going to have to go to System. Then after going to System, you're going to have to go to File Manager. Going there, now you're going to have to add Source. So we're going to add Fusion, which is actually a really good source. So what you're going to have to type is HTTP colon slash slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG alright hit done and then enter a name for this media source um, we're just gonna put whatever let's say fusion I'll just put it with a Z because I like it there you go hit done hit OK then you're gonna hit back and you're gonna have to go to settings and go to add-ons and install from zip file that's what we're gonna want to go and then you're gonna see fusion the one that we just created so click OK start here and then you're gonna have to go that says hub wizard hit OK so you're just gonna have to wait until it's actually installing in the background right now 
So we're just gonna have to wait for a little bit and it should have a pop-up that says add-on enabled, there we go, on the bottom right hand corner. So now that's done, what you're gonna have to do next is you go to programs and program add-ons and then it should say config wizard 1.2.0 and click OK. Before it doesn't have, well, I'm sorry, before it used to have the Fire TV on it, um, the icon that's meant for the Fire TV, but as you all know, um, Fire TV runs on Android, so just hit Android, and Android should work. So click OK, and then hit Yes. So now it's downloading. So we're gonna have to speed up this video while it's downloading. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, by the time it's complete, it will say installation complete. It was a success. So now we're good. So now you're gonna have content on your Fire TV using Kodi. Now, you're just gonna have to wait for like a few minutes to make sure everything's loaded because in the background right now, it's actually running in the background where Kodi is actually grabbing all of the content from the Fusion add-on. So once you're done with that, just wait for like a good two or three minutes or so depending on the speed of your connection you're gonna have to restart it afterwards so restart your fire TV stick just to make sure that everything is working so by the time it's restarting we're gonna have to turn on Kodi again or open up the app again just to make sure that everything works alright so just let it load for a little bit so as you can see Kodi is still there on your recent apps and we're gonna have to choose Kodi of course Hit OK. And now we're on Exodus. Exodus is actually a pretty neat um, add on that where you can watch movies and stuff. So let me go ahead and see what they have in theaters. You know, sometimes you get like crappy quality videos. Um, but for now, let's try and find something um, pretty good quality that's been around for a while. Um, let me see if I can find Deadpool here somewhere. Uh, hit next page. As so you can see, you have all the content, all the movies that you want to watch. Here we go. I know you guys like Deadpool, so I just decided to play Deadpool. But I'm not going to show everything for copyright reasons. And, you know, I'm going to have to tune out the audio so you won't be able to hear anything. But you will see um, the beginning credits, maybe like two, three seconds of it, um, that is actually working. So as you can see, th these are all the providers that you'll be able to um, find movies. Um, I'm not going to put 1080p just because connection wise it might take a little longer. So I'm just going to put HD um, on number 14. It says um, HD on it. So there you have it guys. You have Cody on your Fire Stick with the Fusion add-on with all the movies that you want to watch. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. Pretty decent quality, pretty good quality, I, I would say. And there you have it, guys. And if you like this video, hit me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop it on the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.